What's up guys, Brad here, and in this video, I'm gonna try to answer the age-old question. Should you go with 1440p or 1080p on a 27-inch monitor? So one of the questions I get asked a lot whenever I do a monitor review or even in a general monitor video is, should I go with 1080p or 1440p at 27 inches? And the reason behind that is a lot of people think that at 1080p and 27 inches, the pixel density is going to be too low and you're going to be able to see individual pixels from a normal viewing distance of one and a half to two feet. So I figured I'd make a video kind of addressing this, giving my thoughts and opinions, along with some video footage of uh, zoomed in monitors to see what the pixel structure is like on a 1440p monitor and a 1080p monitor at 27 inches. So obviously this is a very, very subjective topic. Two people with 20-20 vision may not see things exactly the same way. Things like astigmatism really come into play here too. However, my goal for this video is to just give you more information so you can make an educated decision on which monitor to purchase based upon what we found here. Now the 1080p monitor I'll be using is the BenQ EW2780. It's a 27 inch 1080p IPS monitor with a 60 hertz refresh rate that can go up to 75 hertz. And the 1440p monitor I'll be using is the BenQ EX2780Q. It's a 27 inch 1440p IPS panel that does 144 hertz and also supports HDR. Now I do wanna mention that BenQ didn't sponsor this video, they didn't pay me or anything like that. They did send these products to me for review, full disclosure, but I'm making this video on my own. They have no say in this video whatsoever. This was my idea 100%. Also be covering more than just the gaming aspect because a lot of us use our monitors for various tasks like emails, creating Word documents, and I do use my monitors for editing and Photoshop and stuff like that. So I'll kind of be going over how it is to use a 1080p monitor for that versus a 1440p monitor. So before we dive in, I just want to give a quick explanation of what PPI is or pixels per inch for maybe those who don't know exactly what that is. So at 27 inches, the monitor fits those pixels over the height and width of the monitor. So 1920 by 1080. For 1080p, that means a pixel density of around 81. Now at 27 inches and 1440p, those pixels can be much more dense, meaning that instead of 1920 by 1080, you have 2560 by 1440 on the same panel. What this means is that your pixel density goes up to around 108. You'll get sharper text, sharper images, naturally without any type of post-process sharpening or anything like that. And I'll talk about that a little more when I get to the gaming side of things. So what's it like using the 1080p monitor for viewing emails or sending emails? Sending emails, uh, receiving emails, <laughs> deleting emails. Um, I could go on. Making Word documents or notepad documents and doing some video editing and stuff like that. Well, it's actually not that bad. I mean, I've been using a 1080p monitor for quite a while now, so I'm pretty much used to it. You do get kind of used to it. However, text and things like that aren't exactly pin sharp. And while it's not super distracting, it also does cause a little bit of eye fatigue over time. Now moving over to the 1440p monitor, and it's a completely different ball game. Text is crisp, it is razor sharp. Using Photoshop, using Premiere Pro, checking emails, all that stuff. It's just a much more pleasant experience. Text is razor sharp across the board. There's no, oh, this this text is a little blurry here. No, it's, it's all 100% sharp. The downside to that is text is actually smaller, so you may need to use the built-in Windows magnifier thing or, or text increase tool, whatever it's called, to make text a little bigger, which can kind of make things look a little weird to me. I don't like huge icons on my desktop or anything like that. So this is kind of a distraction for me. I don't really care for it, but it's something I'm, I'm willing to live with just for the fact that text is that much sharper and it's just easier on the eyes, especially if you're going to be working on something, you know, eight hours a day, stuff like that. Now, before I continue on with the video, what are your thoughts on this whole 1440p versus 1080p at 27 inches debate? Let me know in the comment section below. And hey, if you like this video so far, give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. Now, in terms of playing games, things can be a bit more even here as in motion. And if you're not staring at text, it's kind of hard to discern the difference. However, there is a difference. What I've noticed is at 1440p, I don't need to add any post-process sharpening using the NVIDIA control panel or NVIDIA's filters or anything like that. 
Whereas with 1080p, I need to bump up that sharpening a little bit to try to get it uh, more in line with the 1440p version. However, even doing that, the pixel structure is definitely there. If you get a little bit closer to the monitor, you'll be able to see the individual pixels. Whereas 1440p, you have to be right up on the monitor, if very, very close to it, to see those individual pixels. And in motion though, it, it is kind of hard to discern the difference, especially if a, a game you're playing has motion blur or film grain or anything like that. If you turn those things off, it's gonna be a much more visual difference that you'll be able to see. Now it may seem all well and good and 1440p is the bee's knees and that's all you need, but there's something to consider with 1440p. It does require a bit more power than 1080p. You're going almost twice the amount of pixels of a 1080p display. So what does that mean? Well, you're gonna need a GPU and a CPU to keep up. Now the current system I'm running consists of a Ryzen 5 2600 and an RTX 2070 Super. Not the most ideal pairing. The CPU kind of can't keep up with the GPU, so it's bottlenecking the GPU a little bit. You're actually putting more stress on the GPU when you go up to 1440p. At 1080p, the GPU is actually waiting for the CPU to tell it what to do. Whereas 1440p, the GPU has a lot more to do just because of the resolution bump. Now I know this whole video is about 1440p versus 1080p and what you should choose at 27 inches, but resolution isn't the only thing that you should consider when purchasing a monitor and making that decision. If you're going to be doing a lot of video editing or photo editing or anything like that, then you definitely wanna look at a monitor with a higher DCI-P3 coverage or sRGB coverage because those things are gonna make more of an impact than resolution alone. Now, obviously, if you can afford a 1440p monitor with great DCI-P3 coverage, kind of like the EX2780Q, then by all means, go for it. That's gonna give you the most bang for the buck and your colors and everything are gonna look accurate and great right out of the box. However, if your main use case is gonna be gaming with maybe some light productivity and video editing here and there, then you may wanna consider getting something with a higher refresh rate before you go looking at a 1440p monitor. Gaming at 144 hertz is much more important than this resolution alone. Now, obviously it goes without saying, if you can afford a 1440p monitor with 144 hertz, such as the BenQ EX2780Q, then by all means go for it. It is gonna be a little more expensive, but you're gonna get better resolution and clarity in motion as well. So what's my final verdict on this whole 1440p versus 1080p at 27 inch debate? Well, obviously 1440p is going to be the clear winner because it's definitely sharper. However, it does come at a cost. If we look at the 1080p monitor I used in this video, the BenQ EW2780, that's a very budget friendly monitor. It's around $200. It is considered an entertainment monitor. It's not technically a gaming monitor. It has a max refresh rate of 75 Hertz and does support FreeSync but it won't work with G-Sync because that requires a display port. But to step up to the BenQ EX2780Q at 1440p is around a $250 premium currently with an MSRP of around 600, so you're looking at around a $400 difference. However, you do get more features for that. You get better DCI-P3 coverage. You get a higher refresh rate, 144 Hertz. Uh, it does support FreeSync and G-Sync over the display port, which is awesome. But again, that comes at a premium. For me personally, I'd rather spend a little more money now on a monitor than have to upgrade in the next year or two just because I wanna to go to 1440p. Now honestly, 1080p at 27 inches isn't all that bad, especially if you can get a 144 hertz monitor for dirt cheap. Something like the AOC 27G2, which retails for around $210 USD, is an excellent value. It has great sRGB coverage, and supports FreeSync and G-Sync. However, it is really hard to find, and if the pixel density does bother you at 27 inches, then they have a 24 inch version. Personally, for me, I do like a 27 inch monitor, and the 24 inch version of that monitor is only like $30 cheaper than the 27 inch. So I'm like, go with the 27 inch. Ultimately though, it is all up to you and what you can live with. Go with 1440p if you can afford it, if not, 1080p will do just fine. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I will be doing a video in the future covering the different frame rates and comparing them, you know, 30, 60, 144, stuff like that. So look for that video in the future. Thank you everyone for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one where I just feel like commenting on a big pile of dinosaur poop. That is one big pile of sh